Uh, good morning, everyone. This is Zion Dew. My name is Daniel Masharia, and I am here to uh, share a word with you to help you as you begin your day today. And um, I've been sharing uh, on, on advancing, keys to advancing in life. And um, we've talked a bit, and we draw from... Uh, in, in, uh, we, we draw from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 uh, to 2, and we've talked uh, a number of, of keys. And today I'd like us to look at a subsection of the, 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 last, of the last episode, which is focus. <clears throat> and in terms of focus, we want to look at where is your focus? Where is your focus? The question is, where is your focus? <clears throat> Let me read Hebrews chapter 12 and verse uh, 1 to 2. And it says, Therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. And has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. And looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, that is verse 2, looking unto Jesus. And that word look, it is from that word look that I, 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 I draw my, our attention to where is your focus? Where is your focus? <clears throat> in life, focus in life determines um, what we become. Focus determines what we become. What you focus on, it, tends, it has a way of influencing you. And, um, and therefore, it is very key uh, for us to focus in the right place. And that's why we are asking ourselves this morning, where is my focus, you know? Where is my focus? Have you lost your focus? Are you focusing in the right thing or in the wrong thing? Is your focus in the right place? If your focus is in the right place, you will find that that, that, um, that, that, that which you're focusing on has a way of influencing you, influencing uh, your, your, your body, your soul, and even your spirit has a way of focusing, of, of influencing your career choices today, has a way of focusing your decisions for uh, your decisions today because of where you focus. <clears throat> focus in life determines what we become. So if you want to become something in life, you have to focus. You have to put your focus in the right place that molds your way of thinking, that molds your, 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 yourself as a person. You know, so that <clears throat> at the end of the day, you are not focusing on the wrong things. It's like the focus, your focus, uh, um, um, the, your focus, the focusing of your mind on that which on, 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 uh, determines, begins to become the building blocks towards you becoming what you want to become and towards achieving your goals. Because we said in that, those other episodes that, 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 um, <clears throat> the, that life is a race, but there are two races intertwined in that race, and that life to becoming you as a person, and life also, to in that, that, and the race towards becoming and the race towards accomplishing your goals and your purposes. So what we focus on has a way of influencing who we become. So what we focus on also, we tend to gravitate towards. When you focus on something, you tend to gravitate towards it, you know? You tend to gravitate towards it because it attracts your attention and somehow your full energy, if you give it your full energy, then there is a way, it has a way of, of, uh, of gravitating towards you. I don't know if you have ever had these experiences like me. Sometimes, all of a sudden, some thoughts about someone comes to you. Maybe it's a person that you have not seen in like 10 years, or maybe it's a person you are with in primary school, you know? And, and all of a sudden, you have not seen this person for years, but all of a sudden there's this thought that comes to your mind, and you begin to, to, to give it attention. And within a day or two, you've, you all, within uh, some minutes, you find yourself colliding with this person on the streets. 
You know, on the streets you hear someone calling your name, a name that no one else around, you know, in your surrounding knows, you know. Because, uh, and, 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 and I've realized that these are incidences that have happened in my life. And to confirm, this is to confirm that, that what we focus on, you know, we gravitate towards. What we focus on, we gravitate towards. What we can say also is what we focus on has capacity to influence us for good or for evil. So as you wake up today, you know, what's your focus, you know? Where is your focus? Because where your focus is today has capacity to influence you for good or for evil, you know? There are so many things that are calling for our attention, and they want us to, to focus on. There are so many things in life that are shouting loud, you know, for us to give them attention. But not everything, you know, not everything around us requires our attention. You know, everything calls us, you know, calls for attention as if it is an emergency. There are things that should wait. There are things that today you should just give them, uh, uh, um, um, just ignore. We need to learn to ignore some things, you know, and be able to discern the right things to focus on today. So the writer of the Hebrew says, looking unto, because our, our, for us to advance in life, we have to learn to put our focus in the right things. We have to put our focus in the right place. We have to learn to put our focus in the right things. So um, <clears throat> we need to be careful. So that because of the kind of influence that what we focus on begins to generate, you know, to generate in us for good or for evil. I believe you, and as, as, as uh, just like me, you desire the best concerning you. You desire your day to be successful. You desire the outcomes of today to influence your future, you know? You desire that today to be a building block uh, for, for the future. You desire that the decisions you'll make today will be amount to good, you'll be amount to success, will, be, um, will amount to you becoming something in life. And therefore, you need to put your focus in, on something that influences you for good. Looking, the word looking, putting your focus right, you know? You know, many things shouting, sh shouting around us, you know, loudest in our, our environment, in your workplace, at home. Maybe when you, when you woke up this morning, you know, something just shouted. A thought is shouting for you to give it an attention, you know, and you need to ignore it because maybe it's a thought that is pulling you back. The steps that you made yesterday, that thought wants you to pull it back. Are you struggling with alco alcoholism? You know, and so you, you and you have made this decision to stop. Are you struggling maybe with smoking? And you have made this 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 decision to stop, you know? And somehow yesterday you really made it a whole day. You know, you have told yourself maybe in a day, because I've been smoking, I'll just be taking one one only, you know? And somehow yesterday you made it. You know, the other day you made it. But today that thought of, 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 of doing it even in the morning has come to you. Maybe you have been struggling with alcoholism. And yesterday you made a whole day without taking a drink, you know. And today that thought is uh, you have woken up with it this morning. And it's so strong, you know. And what do we do? We need to put our focus in the right place. My friend, you need to put your focus in the right place. That which can influence you for good, not for evil, you know. You need to ignore that thought and begin to give your mind something else, food for thought. You need to give yourself the right thing. Don't eat junk, you know. If you give that thought to your mind, that thought that is pulling you back, to uh, uh, pulling you back and want you to regress and to just as, as, uh, uh, bring down all the good steps that you have made this far, this advancement that you've been able to make, this far you have come clean, you know? Ignore those thoughts. Begin to give yourself your mind and f give your mind food for thought, that which is good, that which, which will advance you today, that which you will be proud of today, at the end of the day, looking. Where are you looking? Where are you looking? Be quick enough to discern what requires immediate attention and what can wait. As you wake up today, there are so many things that are calling for your attention, but you have to learn, to learn to discern that which, is, that which needs quick attention and that which requires to wait. That which can wait, tell it to wait, you know?
That which you do not have to eat the whole elephant today. An elephant is not eaten in a day. An elephant is eaten gradually. Gradually. What is that goal that is an elephant in your life? What is that, that, that big thing? You know, in your life, don't eat the whole of it today. Begin a step. Things are accomplished. Great journeys are started with one step, you know. Great journeys are started in one step. That big goal that you have of becoming so-and-so, of becoming something in life, of living a great legacy, you know, for your children's children, begin with one step, making your fo putting your focus in the right place today. Putting your focus in the right place, place today. Another, so one thing you need to do is to design that which can wait and that which um, uh, need quick attention. That which needs quick attention. Learn to schedule things in their place so that your focus is not all over. Schedule things in life. Schedule your patterns for today. Schedule your, 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 your uh, engagements for the day. Don't just face the day and let the day roll out for you. The day can really scatter you, can really scatter your plans and your purposes, you know, because you will encounter so many things. Every day has its own challenges. Solomon said in Ecclesiastes, you know, every day comes with its own challenges. Therefore, don't let the day begin to engage you with its own challenges. Begin to address the day by putting your focus in the right place, you know, putting your focus in the right place. Schedule things. Right. If you are to meet with someone at, uh, at a certain time today, schedule it, you know. Let them know in advance, you know. Let them know in advance, rather than just waiting and letting things roll out and letting things connect. So, schedule your, have a schedule for the day. In terms of your engagement in the office, plan your day, have a things to do list, you know. Begin with, the, in, with that which requires attention now and continually, continue with those things that are not immediate. As you finish those things, there is an a fulfillment that comes upon you that encourages you. You know, that encourages you that your focus is in the right place. But if your mind is all over, you have not scheduled your day, you find that your energies are scattered around so many things so, so that at the end of the day, you try to look at what you have accomplished and you cannot really tell. But with the least, as you have scheduled things, as you accomplish them, there is that oomph, there is that energy that is ignited in you after accomplishing something. There is that fulfillment that gives you the, 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 the strength and the energy to be able even to focus into the next thing. Don't be all over. Schedule your day, you know. Have a things to do list, you know. In fact, we have to learn to be selective in what we focus on. Learn to be selective. Select, be selective. Be selective. Make right choices today. Put your focus in the right place. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. And may the Lord cause his face to shine upon you.